Joe Patton has lived in this apartment for the past 30 years. A three-story, 3,000-square-foot 3, space nestled under the dome of Atlanta's historic Fox Theater, a landmark Patton has been credited with saving twice. Now at the age of 83, he finds himself in the middle of a legal battle against the nonprofit organization that runs the theater he loves so much. So it's home to me, just as uh, any home in any uh, area uh, uh, would be uh, considered uh, the place for uh, an individual to uh, live in uh, and feel very comfortable in. In 1979, Patton agreed to spend $50,000 to renovate and convert an old office into an apartment at the Fox Theater. Under the lease, that $50,000 would be considered his rent until he died, unless the Board of Atlanta Landmarks voted by a two-thirds majority to end that lease. At the end of August, after Patton returned from a stay in the hospital, the board did just that. This is his home, just like everyone else. They have no desire to go be taken to a nursing home or forced to live anywhere other than where they want to live, simply because they happen to be aging. The Fox has said it's tried to work with Patton for two months to negotiate a new agreement which would permit him to continue to live at the Fox Theater. Unfortunately, neither Mr. Patton nor his attorney has accepted any of our efforts in this regard. Patton must now vacate the building by December 1st, unless he reaches a deal with Atlanta Landmarks. This is my home. I would love to live here till my dying day, and uh, uh, that's it. The decision by the board of Atlanta Landmarks has not sat well with many in the community. <coughs> There are rallies outside the Fox Theater, as well as Facebook pages in support of the 83-year-old. He, he just evokes a spirit of the past that you can't find. He, he's priceless, and there's so many people that we, we love what he's done for the city, and he's actually become our friend, and we want to take care of him as best as we can. Patton's lawyer has filed a lawsuit trying to get the original lease reinstated. A hearing on that suit is scheduled for Wednesday. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.